Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a poster like this one. Now, you can use any photo you want to, but if you want to use the one I am, then there is a link in the description. Firstly, make sure you have a layer of colours you'd like to use. These are my ones, and just hide it for now, and we'll come back to it later. Then you want to select the pen tool and cut out the figure. Hit make selection and then layer by a copy. I'm just using color range to select the blue in her hair and erase it, and then using a smudge tool to blend it in. Then select the wall with the pen tool. Make selection, hit new layer and fill in the selection with a paintbrush colour of your choice. Then you want to add in the background. There is a link in the description for this swirl image and put it at the bottom of your layers. Now make sure your colour references are on and then put a gradient map over the background layer. Choose a preset two color gradient and edit the colors to ones from your reference as I'm doing now. In order to make a shadow effect behind our legs, what you want to do is control click on the thumbnail for the wall layer, then click back onto the cutout of the woman, and then right click layer via copy. Now you should have her legs on a separate layer, double click on the thumbnail of the legs, go to color overlay, select black, and make sure to turn it on. Then move the shadow layer like so. and then lower the opacity to your liking and then make sure to create a clipping mask on the wall. Then we have to click the pen tool and then select our shoes and face like I'm doing and one by one make a layer and give it its own colour. Now you are done, and for final touches you can add a hue effect over the girl and put a grainy overlay over the image and blend it. I like to use the difference blending mode and there's a link in the description for that one too. Thank you so much for watching guys, you are the blood in my veins, thank you.